Hello, all of my lovely friends. As most of you know, we moved to the Smoky Mountains and that meant that sadly I had to leave my craft room behind. So I'm having to get a little creative in how I'm gonna store my craft supplies until we have time to build a she shed. I'm hoping that's gonna be soon, but we'll see about that. But for now, I've gotta have a place to store things. Otherwise, I'm not gonna be able to get to all of my craft supplies. So the previous owners actually left us this china cabinet and I thought, you know, this could work. It obviously needs to be painted and judged up a bit, but I'm gonna use this to hold all of my craft supplies. You wanna see what it's gonna look like? Now, one of the things I'm really ready to get rid of is this hardware, not my style. Now to clean up this nastiness. Thankfully, I'm gonna be painting over this, so it's not gonna be quite as noticeable. But I do have some little holes that I'm gonna to have to fill in, which I'm not looking forward to because I did not realize that these were actually nailed in. So now I'm gonna to have to patch that. I don't want to. I wanna to get to the fun part. You know, I feel like there's, there's two different types of DIYers. They're the ones that like really like the process of getting everything done right, you know? Like they like doing the demolition and they like getting all the, the second step, you know, the puttying, the sanding, the, all that kind of thing. And they like getting it done just right and just so. They enjoy the whole process. Then there are other people that are like me that want to skip to the fun part. Like, you know, that whole little, can we skip to the good part? That's me. I'm a, can we skip to the good part kind of girl. Like, I don't want to do all this patching and sanding and cleaning part. I want to just get to the fun part. Like, I want to paint it and then decorate it and have it ready to go. I'm going to come in after the yucky stuff has been done so I can do the pretty stuff. DIYer. You know? I know. All the steps are important. I'm just being honest. I don't love the tedious stuff. Okay, so which kind are you? Are you the I like to get everything done right person and enjoy the steps along the way? Or are you the I like to skip to the good parts? Which one are you? Now that this is drying, and I can't do anything about it for a while, I'm gonna go ahead and move to the inside because nothing has been puttied in here. So I'm gonna go ahead, start sanding this, sanding the outside, except for the part that's drying, and then that way, I've gotta go pick up the boys from school in just a little bit. That'll get that time to dry. And then when I come back, I can get back to it. It's a plan, it's a perfect plan. All right, so I'm back at it. Different day, different outfit. And look y'all, I have on makeup. It's a miracle. Actually, it's because Corey got up this morning and was like, sweetie, you just sleep in, I'll take the boys to school. Well, the boy to school because the youngest is home today because teachers are having some workshop thing. But got everybody out of the house. It's like sleep, uh-uh, I'm gonna shower. I'm gonna like listen to my music and put on some makeup. I'm so excited. Anyway, new person, new day, new outfit, which if you guys saw my uh, my video on my DIY fashion haul, try on haul, I show you all my new outfits, which is really exciting. So today, I've already sanded, I cleaned all that up, and now I'm gonna prime. It says you don't have to prime it, but I have painted so many pieces of furniture with like a chalk type paint before and never fails. I have something come to the surface and it makes me so mad and then I have to sand it down, I have to start over. So I'm just gonna go ahead and prime this just to be on the safe side, especially because of the type of furniture that it is. And then we're just gonna prime it, paint it, that's my goal for today. That's my goal for today. If I can do this while Jack is watching some Scooby-Doo, it's gonna be a good day. Anyone wanna to try to guess how many times I've looked for my um, safety glasses today? You know, these safety glasses? Three times. Three times I've looked for them. Where have they been each time? On the head, yeah, yeah. 
That's what having children does to you. That is perfect, okay? I've got big plans for you, little cabinet. All right, so I finally have this primed and ready to go. Isn't it pretty? So I'm actually just gonna be painting the ceiling of this inside of the cabinet. The rest of the inside of the cabinet is gonna be wallpapered. And then, um, but I'm gonna paint first before I get in there and wallpaper, because with my luck, I would, you know, end up painting on the wallpaper. All right, so y'all ignore the mess that's back there. That is, um, that's boxes that I am unpacking from our move. You know, when we moved here in October and it's almost March now. Super excited to have a place to put my craft supplies because right now they are all in boxes in my garage still. And we still have plans to do a she shed. We just have to kind of figure out all those logistics and figure out what route we want to take. And I can't wait. Like, I can't wait to have my craft supplies. Like, I can hear them in there calling me. They're not happy. They're, they're wondering where I am. They feel abandoned. So, I need to release my babies and let them come back out into the world so that I can create. So that's where the craft cabinet's gonna come in. And then even after I have my she shed, I'm probably still gonna move this cabinet into the she shed for additional storage. So it's a win-win. This is gonna be a great solution, especially for someone that doesn't have a whole lot of space or doesn't have a designated room. This is gonna help you have a place to not only store your crafts, but also to craft. I just have to finish painting it in order to get to my favorite part, which is the organization. I shared a little bit about it on my Instagram account. So if you guys aren't following me over there, be sure to go find me. It's the same as over here. Good golly gal. But I will say, do respond to some DMs on Instagram. I do not respond to all. But I will tell you, if you try to slide into my DMs with, hey beautiful, hey, how are you? Hello. I get lots of those little short creepy messages, you know, those phishing messages that are like, Hey, are you a lonely female who I can try to take advantage of? And I don't know what they do. I don't know what the purpose is. Like, I feel like it's, I feel like it's all con men or creepers. Um, but I will tell you, I do not respond to those messages. Um, I respect my husband far too much to be responding to, hey baby, how you doing? It's not happening. Not happening at all. I don't, I'm not hungry for male attention. I'm good. So um, you can go be a creeper elsewhere. I am fine. Also, I don't have any money to give you and definitely don't have time to give you. I don't even have, I don't have time to give you. Yeah, I got nothing. It is all for my husband and my boys. Most of them are um, much older gentlemen. And I think my white hair kind of confuses them. I think they think I look really great for 70 um, instead of pretty old for 40, 30. <laughs> but it's okay. I am good with me. All right, so I've gotten the first coat on most of this. I still have to paint the inside of the cabinet. Uh, and I'm jamming out to uh, Sierra Farrell right now. If you guys don't know her, she is crazy talented. I like, I've never been a huge 
country music fan, like newer country. Like I love Loretta Lynn and Patsy Cline and of course Dolly Parton because you know who doesn't love Dolly. But I've really been enjoying some of these younger people that are coming out with kind of an older sound, but Sierra Farrell's one of those. So if you like that type of sound, y'all need, uh, need to look her up. And actually I was listening to Haley Witters when I primed this and now I am listening to Sierra Farrell while I paint it. So both of those are country music artists, which is kind of funny because that's never been what I've listened to. But they're really good, so y'all should check both of them out. Okay, so this is what I painted yesterday. This is two coats of paint. And I feel like normally when I've used a chalk type paint in the past, the second coat covers everything. Honestly, a lot of times the first coat covers everything. So for this one, I feel like I primed it, then I painted it, and now I'm painting it again. And do you, can y'all, look how dark that is. So I was using a paintbrush yesterday and I was just kind of crisscrossing over. So the first time I painted, just to clarify, I did my brush strokes up and down for the first coat, okay? Second coat I went in there and I just kind of went back and forth just to try to fill in and to just give it some texture and not make it so flat. Um, but I mean flat by brush strokes. I, I don't want there to be variations on the shade of the color that I'm using. Like this is considerably darker than like this area. It's, it almost looks dirty. It almost looks like grease marks coming through. It's, it's pretty bad. So I got a roller. I'm gonna try to fix it with a roller. If the roller doesn't work, I'm gonna cry. Um, but I'm really hoping the roller works. Okay, I'm mad. Do you see how splotchy this is? Like, I don't know if it's, well, yeah, I know you can see it on camera. That is awful, awful. And I'm mad because I've put a lot of time in this and now I have to repaint it. So instead of continuing to do this, cause you know, they say doing the same thing over and over again, expecting a different outcome is basically insanity. So I decided not to continue on with this color, even though I really do love it. And I went into my garage and thankfully when we moved, we packed all of our paint into a bucket and I forgot that I had an entire thing of the Jolie of the Jolie chalk paint in Legacy. I bought it for our old house and then we moved before I could use it. So I have this, so I'm just gonna use that instead. I've used Jolie before, I've never had any problems with it, so we're gonna try this again. The cool thing is, now that I have painted this on the bottom, anything that comes through, like this little patina color, can actually kind of come through. So I'll even be able to, if I wanted to, I could sand back some of that Jolie color, and have little touches of that blue come through, which I think will be pretty. Oh, so much better. So much better. All right, so while that dries, I've already painted the top of the inside of the cabinet this patina color, and I think I'm just gonna leave it. I think it's kind of fun. And when I sand through, some of this patina color is gonna come back through anyway, so why not just leave it in there? But now I need to add the wallpaper to the inside of the cabinet. You guys know we just moved in October, and I have no idea where half the stuff that I own is. I bought an entire wallpaper hanging kit, like that's got the little scraper, squeegee, all that kind of stuff. I have no idea where it is. So when I went to my local Ace, I was looking for wallpaper tools and they just, it's a tiny, tiny, tiny little Ace hardware. I love it, but they don't have just everything. Anyway, they didn't have a squeegee, but I found a window squeegee to like clean your windows. So it's rubber and we're gonna try this with our wallpaper. Hope it works. Time for the wallpaper. So if you've never done peel and stick wallpaper, it can be a bit of a pain because it's just sticky. And so there's no moving it around. I mean, you can remove it and take it off. When you're doing regular wallpaper, you can kind of slide it around. 
so this one takes a little bit more precision, but it's not nearly as messy. And you just wanna make sure that wherever you start, you go a little bit above that line. So you don't wanna line this up with the joint, you wanna go a little bit up above. And don't peel this all the way back or it is a giant sticker and it's going to stick to everything. It's like if you get too much tape when you're wrapping a present and then it sticks all over itself and it's just a pain, that's what's gonna happen. So just a little bit, pull a little bit at a time. One section done. Whose genius idea was it to wallpaper the inside of a cabinet? It's mine. Why did I do this? This is a pain. Like, this is such a pain. And you know, you see all those DIYers and they do things and it's like, oh, make it look so easy. It's not easy, this is torture. This is why people hire people to do things. <sighs> I should have just painted it. Oh, I really like it. See, I could have painted a mural in this. Like I could have hand painted this faster than it's taking me to wallpaper this stupid thing. Oh man. And I know there are people that are really good at this and they're like, Molly, it's the inside of a cabinet. Seriously, you can't do that. Apparently not. I have it so perfectly lined up. Problem is, I'm trying to get a, I'm trying to get an angle. I'm trying to wrap a go around the corner. I should have just cut it, and then my my pieces go into the corner. This is stupid. 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 <gasps> How about now? Anytime I do something stupid, you know, like almost pull a cabinet over on my head while pulling off the wallpaper. Every time I do dumb things like that, that stupid song plays in my head. Dumb ways to die. Yeah. That's what I hear in my head. Ooh, I even had this lined up perfectly. I might have to go to therapy after this one. I think I missed my temper tantrum. Which is a good thing because it was a little embarrassing. I feel like my four year old right now. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm, I'm, I'm. That was the rest of my roll of wallpaper unrolling. I'm telling myself what I tell Jack. Okay, little dinosaur. What do dinosaurs do when they're mad? They take a deep breath. They breathe. guys want to see this done like did y'all want to see it all cute because I'm not sure it's happening okay I walked away for a minute I did my breathing I'm good and then I cut my wallpaper because trying to put that in the corner was just not it was not gonna happen it was not gonna happen like there are just certain times in life that you just accept defeat and this is one of those I cut my wallpaper and I'm going to continue cutting my wallpaper to put the rest of it in here because, because projects shouldn't be this hard. Also, this little squeegee thing is not meant for wallpaper. And it's done okay and it's helped me, but you really need the proper tools to do this. So I will link the proper ones that I've actually linked in a previous video where I actually did this um, in my living room, in my bookcase. So I will link those don't go get the squeegee for your shower. It, it does enough to help me get by, 
but really you need that extra pressure from those other tools so don't recommend that all right so we went to lowe's and got these are just like you know the shelves that you can get in the closet section but i liked them because they're kind of a light gray all right anyway so we decided not to put multiple shelves in here because i didn't just want this for storage i wanted to actually be able to use it so shelf in i've gotten some adorable basket so these were $16.99 at michael's and then 40 percent off because you know michael's yeah okay we're almost to my favorite part which is organizing that is my absolute favorite part of every single project i love to organize oh my gosh it's so cute Look how cute it is. I love this. All right, so I've got my Jolie uh, Low Luster clear, clear Acrylic Top Coat. The little varnish that I need to put on here. I need to do another coat of that. And I found this little detail sanding kit, which is super tiny and super cute and perfect for what I wanna do. Cause I'm gonna come in here and sand away some of the edges so that maybe some of that blue can kind of come through. So time to get to work. Look how cute this thing is. It's tiny. And you just put your little sanding pad right there. Are you sand? So I'm gonna use 220 grit and just kind of come in here and see if I can, oh yeah, it's working so good. Look at that little touch of blue coming through. I love it, I love it, I love it. All right, so we've got our Ikea pegboard in. I'm gonna load this up. And I've got to put my baskets back in. These are perfect for holding my vinyl for my Cricut. Okay, so here's the plan. The very bottom part of this cabinet, I want to be able to use as a work surface. So what we've done is we've gotten some full extension drawer slides, 14 inches, and we've gotten some more of those shelves, like this one right here. We're gonna attach these brackets to the bottom part and attach them to the shelves. And then that's gonna be able to come out. And then we have another piece that's gonna slide down. So I'll show you all of it. Okay, so for anybody that was not understanding what I was saying, uh, we've actually, we're actually gonna use all four of these just because we figured what are we gonna do with one extra one. But we're gonna attach those to the bottom. And I know, sad, my wallpaper that I did isn't gonna show, but it'll show partially. But then we're gonna attach it to the board so that the board will come out like that and then we'll slide back in. And then I have another board that's gonna drop down below to make one big solid surface. How's it look? Great. Oh, you gotta say that again. I turned it off right when you said it. Why did you turn it off? Because I was trying to save memory on my memory card. You said it looks great now. Let's get crafting. <laughs> I'm gonna turn you into a crafter yet. so tired. I'm going through all the stuff, trying to get as much out here as possible, which you guys know I have a lot more than what a craft cabinet can hold. What I'm just trying to do with this craft cabinet is to have a space where I can get out enough supplies to be able to make some things. I mean, I have quite the uh, collection of craft supplies. I know that I can't fit everything out here. And, and 
That is not what the purpose of this is. The purpose of this is to give me a place to create because right now I don't have that. And until I do get that, which I'm hoping is gonna be soon. This is going to just get me by until I can get my permanent craft space. But even when I do, this is coming with me because I think even once I get this, yeah, I think even once I have a permanent place to make all of my crafts, this is so perfect as like a sewing cabinet or jewelry cabinet or it, it can specifically hold one craft perfectly. The other thing that this does is this allows me to have a workspace so that I don't constantly have to dig through boxes looking for my craft supplies to then take them to my dining room table, to mess up my dining room table. My goal is to have enough out here to where I don't have to keep going through boxes. The horrible news, and again, for those of you who have watched my videos before, you know I love pens. Deeply love pens. I can't find my pens. Like I, I don't know where they are. My markers, my pens, like they are, I have gone through every single box that is labeled craft room and I can't find my pens. So, oh, that makes me throw up. So, um, uh, y'all can say a little prayer for me that I find my pens because you know, I love pens and I need my pens. Uh, I do have some pens upstairs because you know, I am always buying pens, and so I, I have bought pens since we moved. But it's a very small, small selection of pens because I didn't buy a ton because I knew I had this amazing collection and now I can't find them. Anyway, so I need to find those. But until then, I am just going to continue on sorting, putting things in here, so close to being done, so close. So once I get this all put together, I'll show you all the final product. So I got these super cool little puck lights and they're all synced together. But they've got like, it's a magnet and you can charge them. You're gonna do two, oh and you can go, you can adjust the brightness if I hold that there. There we go. So. I'm gonna do two on the underneath the shelf and then one up above. Here she is, y'all. She is complete and she is perfect. And I've got my little remote. And she even has a light. Her fancy new jewelry. Look at how beautiful she is. Now here's what I love about this space. This was a china cabinet that was actually left here by the previous homeowners. So it was completely free. I'm telling you guys, when I went on to Facebook Marketplace just to look for similar things, china cabinets and armoires are going for next to nothing because people just don't want them anymore. So if you don't have room in your house to have a designated craft space, even Forget that. If you wanna have an organized space, even when I end up getting my next craft room set up, this is going in there. Which, by the way, I am looking for a shed company to work with. So if any of you know a good shed company, hit me up. I'm ready to turn a shed into my dream craft room. 
Now, no craft space of mine would be complete without my favorite little cross stitch. Quit your belly aching. And I love my new little puck lights. They're so cute and magnetic. I love them so much. Y'all, I'm ready for that craft shed. I'm so ready for that craft shed. What I love about this though is for someone who maybe is just starting out in crafting or for someone who just doesn't have the space to have a designated craft room, this is a beautiful piece of furniture that you could have in the corner of your living room. And it's nice because you just close it up when you're done. And if you didn't want people to be able to see your craft supplies in here, you could always put some sort of fabric or something over the glass. Although I do think craft supplies are very beautiful, so don't hide them. They're gorgeous. They're so beautiful. All right, friends. Well, it has been a very long time since I've been able to make anything. So it is time for me to have a little me time. But you need to go do the same. So go have yourself a little me time. And while you're at it, let me know your favorite thing about this craft cabinet. And what should I make first? What should be my first project? Y'all let me know. All right, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.